Hello everyone, it's Kelly here and I'm here with another innovative project, a wild orchid crafts project that I had created um, using nothing but wild orchid crafts products and I just wanted to make a video to show you guys how to make these gorgeous fabric flower embellishment here and this here is made from the wild orchid crafts pure silk ribbon they're the one inch ribbon and also in the middle here is also another product that Wild Orchid Crafts carries, which are the pearl stamens. And it is layer, or the Summer Blooms um, mulberry paper flower. And then also here is the, the mulberry leaves that uh, Wild Orchid Crafts carries as well. And that's just another, that's just a yellow version here. And... This here is the one that I did in um, the silk moss green ribbon and I layered it with the summer blooms also but in the um, different style I'll have the item number on the description below and then here is the leaves that I had um, glimmer misted in black magic and it gave that really dark moss green effect to match well with this silk ribbon here. And here is another one. And this is made from the burgundy silk ribbon. And this here was glimmer misted using red velvet. And it was glimmer misted on the brown um, summer blooms. This here is also uh, the, the leaves. But I had made sure that only the white part showed to match the white pearl stamens here. So in this video, I will show you how to make one of your own. You can definitely make it out of any choice of the silk ribbons that you get from Wild Orchid Crafts. They come in a yard, and you can make about three flowers with this. Three to four flowers with these, and all you really need is nine inches of it. Here's the yellow one that I had, and these are the ribbons that I had with sorry, my July a design team package and here I am going to show you using nine inches of this so let's get started so what you're going to need is nine inches of the silk ribbon any color of your choice so I'm going to demonstrate using the yellow one here and then also a cutout a cardstock um, circle punch out of um, it should be about one inches so you can put that aside and then you'll need thread and a needle and then also the white pearl stamens from Wild Orchid Crafts so what I'm gonna do is I always make sure that the ends are sealed and with silk you cannot do it with the match because when it burns, it burns, um, you'll know that it's actually pure silk because it's not synthetic fiber. So when it burns, it turns into black at the edge. And that um, does the same thing with cotton too, it changes color. But if it was like polyester, then you can definitely seal it and it'll still be um, sealed perfectly, you know, without changing color. So what I'm going to do instead of using my match light when I normally seal my ribbon, I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to run it across just the tip of it here to make sure that it seals and only a film of the glue will get on it so it definitely helps to seal it and I'm kind of off camera so I have to apologize about that and there you go, just seal it like that and then once it cools completely you will fold it in half just like this and then you will do a run-in stitch starting from the very edge here so just do a run-in stitch it doesn't have to be completely perfect but you want to make sure that it's like tightly close together just like that so it's just going to completely curl on its own and um, it's going to take the form of 
the flower here. So once you get to the end, this is what you're going to do. You are going to do a run and stitch at the edge here, just like that, all the way up to here. My camera will focus. And then you pull it. Hopefully you can see that. Pull it and then you go back towards the end here. Just like that. And then it will gather up. So once it gathers up, you just fold the end like that. And then you just put more stitches into this and then loop it twice to actually close it so it doesn't come out just like that. Okay, and then you're going to snip it off. Snip off that thread piece there. And as you can see, it's like curly here. So this is the part where you started off stitching from. And then you're going to just make sure that everything is nicely formed. And you could just play with it a little to see how you like it. So it's going to look like that. But you can make it um, where it's, it closes and then it hides the stitches. I decided to stitch it with white just so that you guys can see it better. And then after that, what you're going to do is um, you're going to take your cardstock that you had cut out and you're going to apply some glue here at the tips, at the edges of the cardstock. And take the end part, or the first um, end here where you had stitched. And just go like that. And then you're going to do that going around. So I'm going to take more glue here. Put it right at the edge. It takes a little bit practice of practice, but um, if you're crafty, this will come very easy to you. And then... Um, And then after that, it'll look like this. But first, before you start sealing in the other edges there, I'm going to take my steam in. So I'm just going to take about, let me see here. So about four. Four or three. Actually, I'll do three because four is a lot. And I'm going to fold it and twist it. And what you're going to do here is add some glue. This is the tricky part here. So you're going to hold your steam in, making sure that every, all the ends are actually even. And try not to burn yourself. You're going to add some glue here. And I'm using the low temperature one. So. Okay, you're going to wait till it comp it's sort of dries out a little bit so that you can play with it and this actually makes it stiffer. You can even use like um, a little small tape to tie it together. So then I'm going to play with it now because it's cooled down a bit and then I'm going to twist it just like that and this actually holds my stamens together and I'm going to cut just a little bit of it off just like that and see how you have that and then I'm going to glue glue it all together okay and I'm going to put my steam in here right in the middle so then after that I'm going to go ahead and put it all together wrap it around the steam in 
just like that. And you can definitely just play with it, making sure that it's all nice and covered there. So. Kind of hard for me to work behind the camera making sure that this is focusing. But you guys get the idea of how it'll look like. So it's going to look like this. But just um, play with it, add more glue to the center to cover it. And this is how it should look like, just like that. And then after that, I'm going to take my leaf and you just layer that on top of that, just like that. And then I'm going to take my summer bloom petals and this is in the ivory so it just matches perfectly just like that and there you have it once you glue it all together it should look like this a perfect embellishment that you can use for your cards or anything of your choice even a hair embellishment or a hair accessory, I keep saying embellishment. Alright, well, hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you guys go and check out wildorchicrafts.com and you will see a lot of um, stuff that you can incorporate into your projects and this is just one of them. If you like to create something like this, then it is actually the silk ribbon and um, the summer blooms and then also the wild orchicrafts mulberry paper flower or paper leaves. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching.